Hey guys, Dustin here with another NASCAR Diecast review. And today we are taking a look at Mike Skinner's 1999 Special Olympics World Games from North Carolina 124 Diecast car. The car is made from 1998. And I'm basically going to waste time talking. I'm just going to get on with the unboxing. Stubborn this stubborn this this sleeve is. Oh yeah, this sponsor's also Lowe's as well. <laughs> Alright, right, we get back to back to back Lowe's reviews. But this is actually a different driver. So 1998 Monte Carlo, only eight thousand and four of these diecast cars are made. And a good thing too, because the Winter Olympics are actually coming around the corner real soon. That's the reason why I like to do this review. This car would like to come out of that box. And here it is. Straight out of the box is the uh, 1999 Special Olympics World Games slash Lowe's Home Improvement Warehouse car. It's a 1998 Chevrolet Monte Carlo. Mike Skinner drove this car for Richard Childress Racing. Got Chevy. Lowe's Home Improvement Warehouse. The 1999 Special Olympics World Games car. Logo actually. <laughs> Ouch. The reason why I'm doing this is for two different reasons. One, I actually participated in that Special Olympics, but it was only like, you know, volunteer work for a high school, so <laughs> that's the reason why I'm doing this. And also, number two, the Winter Olympics are coming around the corner. Which is going to be very, very fun. And here you got small sponsors. I know it's now. Oh, there it is. I literally didn't see the NASCAR Winston Cup Series logo. I Normally, I see them up on top of the Bud Pole Award logo, but... So we have the car, we got 31, up here on the uh, B pillar, I'm not sure what that first one is, I know this one's a uh, top choice in the lumber products and the Richard Childress Racing logo. Down here we got a uh, MTD in Southeast Wood, HGTV, your home and Garden Television with AC Delco. Some of the sponsors I've never heard of, like this A and V one. I'm not sure what this one is. And Fuel Piedmont. That's a uh, unrecognizable name. Never heard of that one before. We got Sylvania Brilliant Light. Now I heard these the Sylvania Light headlights commercials. Like is it Sylvania or Sylvania? How do you say it? You know what? That's going to be everybody's poll question for this video. How do you say it? With three syllables or four? Sylvania or Sylvania? And around the back, there's a, I believe it's the phone number to the Special Olympics World Games, which I'm possibly thinking this, it may be possibly be uh, null and void. So, uh, don't try calling that number. 
and around the other side still the same it's basically just like the uh the jimmy johnson red white and blue patriotic scheme i just recently did a review of and the hood and the uh, trunk do open also this is my second mike skinner review i've done first was his Elite car that I reviewed. The engine compartment. Flip it around. From the trunk. Close them all up. So you got the underside, the chassis. Painted gloss black, actually. Pretty neat. No bounce and suspension components, which you kind of, you can kind of expect that for a uh, car made from 1999, well late 90s actually. The inside, you know, it's got the driver's seat, the onboard fire extinguisher, the dashboard, the dash with the gauges. Steering wheel. Let's have four Goodyear tires. The uh, red outer rim. It's actually pretty neat to have. Yes, I'm actually using this box for the Kindle Fire. You know, it's a part of the racetrack. We have small sponsors like Unicall 76, basically that was the uh, old gas back in NASCAR. MCI, Holly, Gatorade, Autometer, 3M, Mechanics Wear, Bowman, Goodyear's, Belts and Hoses, Goodies, Headaches Powder, Spicer. Some of these actually do look familiar. Nomex I've never heard of. It's on bottom of the uh, good goodies headache powders we also have the NASCAR 50th anniversary I believe uh, next year NASCAR will be celebrating their 70th anniversary which is going to be pretty big and as long as there's no diecast identification number because Actually, never actually put diecast identification numbers on these cars, so it's hard to tell which one you got. I think the only ones are basically the Elite diecast cars, which they put a gold plated VIN number on the bottom. Well, VIN number, not VIN. Yeah, sorry this review is a little short. I just want to. I know it's a little rushed because I want to get this done, get it out of my face. That's the uh, Winter Olympics are coming up, and hopefully this video video is going to be released just in time before the uh, opening ceremony before the big event. So uh, anyway, my name is Dustin, and I will see you later.